Hey, I am Kimbo and I vlog out a girl in a glugan and this is my Silhouette Love series. I started this series because I got so many questions on how to work your silhouette and I feel like a lot of people are really intimidated and overwhelmed by it. And I wanted you guys to love your silhouette as much as I love my silhouette. So I'm breaking it up in little videos trying to show you all of the capabilities that a silhouette can do. So this video we're going to be going over two things, well a few things, but two things, ungrouping and compound path. And they're kind of the same and they're kind of different. I'm going to show you the differences and the similarities. It's something I use quite a bit to break apart projects um, or cut files, make it my own or cut out in different colors. So I'm going to show you why you're going to need them and what they do. So for example, this is one of my cut files as craft and I used the release compound pass so I could break up each letter so I could cut it out in individual individual colors of vinyl or you can break it up so you can move things around or rearrange it to however you like it. So that's a little bit of an example of what the release compound path and the ungrouping can do. All right, let's jump right in. I am using the business edition of my Silhouette Studio software in case something on my screen doesn't look the same as what's on your screen. It will all basically work the same. You guys should all have these functions. Um, like I said, we're going to be talking about compound path. We're going to be talking about group, but I feel like we should talk about weld first because it does something that's a little bit similar. Um, so we're going to talk about that first and get it out of the way. And then we're going to talk a little bit more about how to use compound path and why you guys want to use it. So the weld, I picked this font right now. Every single one of these, I can go in, I can right click, I can add, I can subtract font, right? But I picked this font specifically because I wanted a font that overlapped. Because normally when you have a weld, the purpose of the weld is to get rid of this. If I was to send this to my Silhouette Studio right now, these would all cut out separately. And I want one nice smooth cut and I don't want these. So the purpose of the weld is to weld. We're going to right click, click on weld, and you can see it's going to get rid of all of these little overlapping and it's going to cut it out in one nice smooth cut. But let me show you what happens when we are welding images together. So I'm going to put this heart right over the W. I'm going to drag a box over and pick up my heart and my weld word. I'm going to right click and I'm going to click weld and it silhouette basically smashes the image and just makes it one flat image and there is no way to actually get back the inside of the W unless of course you click the back key um, and like I have no text abilities I can't right click and edit the text I actually look have two images one that's connected and one that's not I'm gonna group those together so I can move them up without losing anything so that's the weld I use it a ton when I'm using fonts but I'm very careful about when I'm welding images together because you'll lose a lot of the detail. It just, like I said, it makes one flat image. So now let's move on to compound path. Um, just to prove I can go in, I can text or I can edit the text on both of these. So I'm going to take this heart. I'm going to put it on this compound path. I'm going to drag a box over. I'm going to right click and I'm going to select make compound path. Now for the group, I'm going to put that over, select both, right click and select group. So this one has been compound pathed, this one has been grouped. Now watch what happens when I release. I'm going to right click, release compound path, and if you notice, I can't even ungroup or group. And if you pay attention, if you look closely, each one of these letters and images are now completely separated. There is no text abilities. The inside of my A, it's completely broken up. I can pull off my heart, but everything else is in pieces. Now, font-wise, this is no not fantastic but I use this a lot when I'm trying to work on to break apart clip art or images like that font it's definitely not the best but I do use this a lot for design capabilities later on and I'll show you a little bit what I mean now let's ungroup this ungroup and if you can see everything has been kept the exact same 
I can still edit my fonts. So when you are grouping things in the Silhouette Studio, you're basically telling the Silhouette Studio, hey, listen, will you hold these two together until I ungroup them and don't do anything to them? When you're doing the compound path, you're saying, hey, will you break apart every single thing? Because I want to be able to move it around. And when you're welding, you're just saying, hey, smush everything down into one flat image for me. So you will actually use this feature where you can pull everything apart and you'll use the group feature all the time. Sometimes you have to play around. It's a really hard concept to teach because I feel like each image, depending on how the designer has saved it, you can ungroup or you have to release com compound path and it just depends on what you do. So get familiar with both, play around with both because when it comes right down to it, you're just gonna have to try both to be able to get the results that you want. So we're gonna go in and play a little bit. I'm gonna show you what I mean. So this is one that was in the Silhouette Studio. This one I actually cannot release compound path. I try and nothing happens. But if I ungroup, I can pull out the hello. So by not being able to release compound path means I'm not going to be able to get these O's out of the flowers. But that's okay. Next, we have this cute little buffalo. When I'm highlighting it, you can see I don't actually even have the option to ungroup. So I'm just going to release compound path. and it's totally broken up each piece. So now I can go in and customize it and I can get rid of whatever I don't want or if I wanna add something. That's what I love about it is I use these features so I can really customize and make something my own. I'm just creative and I usually just feel like I have to put my own twist on things. So I like breaking things apart so I can kind of refigure it, refigure it. Okay, this last one is, well, second to last. But this is a, just another silhouette library image. Um, so this one you're going to have to pay attention to because let's say you just want this trick or treat, enter if you dare, and the Halloween. Like you just want to lose. There's a lot going on. It's super cute. But let's say you just need this for something that you're working on. So I'm going to ungroup it. We'll see what that does. So ungrouping and you've actually, they've given you all of these. And they've ungrouped those. So let's try ungrouping the, the next. So they've made it ungrouped. And let's try one more time, ungroup. Okay, so by ungrouping, you see I've lost the, little, the middle of my letters and it's not releasing the trick or the treat. So I'm gonna go back and make sure it's lined up. And I'm gonna go back one more time and I want it to be, oh, hang on. Okay, there we go. I'm back to being an image. And now I'm, instead of trying to ungroup, because we saw that ungrouping didn't work, I'm going to release the compound path. And do you see how it all went back? black <laughs> not back so i've that means the release the compound path worked but it's still one image so now that i've released it i'm going to right click and ungroup it and i should be able to pull off all of the design see it's a little bit tricky so you definitely have to play around with it to try to get what you want now I'm gonna drag this all the way over. You can see, because I released the compound path, each one is completely separate. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna just group it together so it stays in that circle. See, so I've pulled off what I wanted, but you can see this Halloween is one solid. So let's happen, let's see if I ungroup it. It's gonna let me have each letter so I can make my own letter, like All Hallows Eve. So it's a little bit of a fun concept just because I feel like you can play around and really get, you know, the design that you want. Okay, this one is my cut file. Um, I It's the bag that I showed you at the very beginning of the video. 
And the way I save it for some reason, it doesn't give you the option to group or ungroup. It's a flat image. So I'm going to release compound path and you can see I've released it, which means all the insides of the letters are free. So you want to make sure that you are dragging over and picking up those and grouping it together. So when you move it, they all stay in place because nobody wants to do a puzzle. So if you move this, you don't want to sit there and try to perfectly place each one of these. It's just too time consuming. So drag over, these two are together, so I'm gonna just drag over big. And I'm grouping them together because grouping them together just means they'll keep them together. I can move them around. They're all gonna stay in place. And then I can move my craft word in there. So this craft is all one letter. And let's say you want to cut each one out of a different colored vinyl. You're going to right click. You're going to release compound path. And it's going to give you that option to be able to pull off each letter and cut it out separately. Okay, guys, I hope that made sense. If you guys have any questions, leave them down below and I'll try to answer them for you. And even if it's about something that's not about this video, your questions are what helps me know what you guys need to watch for the next video. So leave me any questions and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any videos. Thank you.